Hello everybody. I am uh, just wanted to make a little tutorial showing you some of the basics of uh, hair and soft amash. I tried to look for something similar on YouTube but I uh, didn't really find anything just quick and simple. So what I want to do is just uh, take you through the steps to create some simple and soft amash with hair. Um, Alright, let's start with a new scene here. First thing I'm going to do is get a primitive sphere and we'll add about 15 subdivisions. That should do it. And I'm going to go into my user and a textured. Alright, next thing we need to do is a uh, toss homage where you want the hair to grow. So we're going to select some polygons using the raycast selection or the U key. And I'm going to loop as well using Alt and middle click. And hold down Shift to add. There we go. That should be good. All right. Now we're going to go to the hair tab by pushing Control 2, or you can get it right here. And we're going to do create hair and from selection. And right away, you can tell something happens. Um, let's bump that up a little bit. And um, you know, it, that's pretty quick. No messing around. Just get right to it. Um, something I like to do is turn on this uh, render hairs. It just shows you in the viewport uh, just a little, I guess, estimation of what's going on. I mean, you can also use God hairs, but I find it a little more uh, easier to just put the render hairs on there. You can also uh, take a look at this render hairs percentage and uh, right now it's just uh, it's just displaying 10% of 6,500 hairs so I mean you can bump that all the way up to the 6,500 but uh, you know it's not really necessary and it will also bog down your system if you've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, that's pretty much all I want to show you here you know, obviously the, the total amount of hairs you can, you can bump that up if uh, that's not enough. You can go pretty high, but I'm not going to. All right. The next thing I want to show you is just some of the tools. Um, scale. This will obviously scale your hair and will grow it. It'll make it longer. So you know, it's pretty basic. Something else I want to show you in the uh, the hair properties, um, these presets, you know, you'll get uh, it'll add, it'll just add some styling to your hair if you just want something quick and some quick styling. I like the afro. Anyway, all right. The next thing I want to show you is the brush. You see this little circular brush type tool. Um, what we're gonna do? Just gonna do some basic styling. We're just gonna make it look like she jumped off a building or rolled down her window or something. You can also tell down at the bottom. Uh, it says left click is translate. Middle click is rotate around the cursor. And right click is scale. So. Some little lost hairs here. All right. Anyway, that should do it. This can really take your time if you uh, if you just mess around with it. Alright, and that's pretty much all the tools I want to show you. You can play around. Uh, you can play around with them and, and just find your own find your own stuff. But uh, last thing I want to show you is uh, if you push seven into the render tree, turn off that tool. Go into the hair material. Uh, you can obviously change the hair color. You want your guy to have red hair with uh, green roots uh, and have a nice blue.
monkey spec. I mean, you can do some pretty cool results with, uh, with uh, relatively not much time at all. Um, play with the settings, and I just want to show you some quick uh, getting started tips. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you've uh, got any questions or anything, just leave me a comment. Um, any ideas for future uh, tutorials, anything at all, just shoot me a message. Something else, if uh, there's also some, this is just the, the built in soft image here. So there are plugins. Um, one of them is the uh, Christinka hair. And it's it's pretty cool. If you go to the uh, SICommunity.com page, um, there's uh, quite a bit of support there for it. It's actually an ice, uh, several ice compounds. Um, and uh, this is the owner's website. If you go to metkovic.com, just go in here, then go to the hairs. Um, and this is the latest version, 2.0. You just download the compounds and um, there's directions on where to put it and all that. Um, but there's quite a bit of support on the uh, forums for that and uh, there's a lot of documentation as well and uh, just leave comments and questions or anything and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching